because of you guys, because of you guys, because of the Salon Center, Trust already has the entire East Coast, or, you know, with a very few exceptions, covered with distribution. To us, this means the world. You know, it means a lot to us because it's tough. It's really, really tough. But uh, the nicest thing about it is that where we have distribution at this point, this represents already 60.3% of the U.S. population. So it's, it, it's, it's something amazing to us and that we are extremely, extremely thankful to you for that. You always think we're in Tennessee, but we're in Louisiana. I always make that mistake, but uh, I promise I won't make it again. Um, I want to share, as you guys know, we are social media experts. Even though these, so here we have numbers in, in Brazil. Uh, we are the number one brand in Brazil when it comes to Instagram, ranking ahead of well, Morafanol, Schwarzkopf, Joyco. Uh, and here in the U.S., we are one of the fastest growing brands uh, in the country. Brands that have been established here forever, we are already ranking ahead of them. If we were able to make number one in Brazil, we are going to be number one in the U.S. also. We promise you. And Instagram, uh, our industry has changed because of Instagram. Hairstylists have changed the way they communicate and the way they do their services because of Instagram. So Instagram is key for us. Uh, if you guys have your own Instagram account, please make sure that you're constantly reposting the stuff that we have. If you haven't seen our Instagram yet, please go there, check it. I promise you will see some of the most beautiful blonde looks that you've ever seen in your life. So uh, use that tool uh, to help yourself. We are the only brand to be simultaneously in the back over of both major publications in the trade here in the United States, modern and American soul. Uh, the only brand that ever did this here in the United States was Paul Mitchell 20 years ago, and, and now Trust is doing it. But what I love about us being in the back over is that being in the back over for a magazine is not about having the money to be there. It's not about having the resources because that's their highest position. So they choose who they want to give that kind of visibility. And both major publications gave it a trust simultaneously, and they compete against each other. So that's something that is really, really interesting. Um, American Salon from a month ago, uh, it's 100% digital now. But, uh, but still, we, we, we did American Salon in that call for two years pretty much. Education. Education is key with trust. And, and we believe that uh, education is uh, extremely important to grow the business for more than that to change people's life. Uh, we have some of the best team uh, in, you know, in the country. I'm gonna show you uh, who those guys are. Uh, but also, we, we are one of the very few companies that we do full-time education on stage when it comes to trade shows. Uh, uh, and, and that's one of the things that I love the most. What is our education based on, okay? Our focus is the blonding system, is the balayage techniques, okay? We have different levels of education we trust. We have educator level one, which is actually uh, going to be the educators that are going to go out of the field with you, spend the day in your car, and going to do private knowledge classes. Education level two are the educators that we are going to establish this together. I'm going to talk uh, with Pete about it. But once your clients, they reach to a specific amount in purchase, they are entitled to get a balayage class in their salon. That balayage class comes from educators level two. Then we have educators level three, which are the educators that do hands-on classes, and, and we are gonna do lots and lots and lots of hands-on classes. Please sell those tickets. I promise you, your clients, their lives are gonna be transformed by these hands-on classes. And then we have uh, educator level four, which are those that go international with us. So that, that is the tier that we have with education, with trust. Where's Kameli? Kameli, she's, she started with one, and now she's two and three. Yeah. This is the Brazilian team that, that we have. Giselle is our uh, director of education. Mario Niki, he's one of the strongest names in the international industry. He's the number two hairstylist in Brazil. Almost 600,000 followers. He does hair like no one. We have Dununis, Glida, and Gilson that they were 
just here with us. We, we had a chance to meet uh, them last week. So this is the Brazilian team that we started with. And then luckily now we have an amazing US team. And uh, so uh, out of, uh, so we have here Mickey. Mickey's from Orlando. We have Gabriel from Miami. Philip from New Orleans. Asil from New York. And Soraya from New Jersey. These are our uh, top five educators. But as a matter of fact, uh, since we were talking about Instagram a minute ago, a big part of our marketing and our education comes through what we call brand specialists, who are influencers. And today we have 65 influencers spread across the country. And I think at this point, 20 out of those 65, they are all out of uh, the territory covered by the Salon Center. So, and uh, and this is what these guys do. They, they do beautiful hair, but they motivate people and they're huge when it comes to social media also. International trade show presence. Um, trust is growing. It's growing a lot and it's growing internationally. We do Vegas, Bologna, Dubai, New York, London, Sao Paulo, Orlando, Bogota, Chicago, Long Beach, and Santiago de Chile everywhere. Those are our uh, main trade shows. Um, and we love her. Uh, I don't know who had the chance to see about us in New York, but actually, uh, it's one of the toughest like trade shows in our industry when it comes to uh, uh, positioning. And we got a super premium positioning at the New York show. At the main entrance, it was incredible. And then we just came back from Dubai, and and. For me personally, it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had in my life. Not because Dubai is cool and fancy and different. Dubai feels like Vegas, to be honest with you. It kind of, it really gives you that Vegas feeling. But for me personally, it was the very first time that I had the opportunity to do business with people whose countries are actually in the middle of a war. I had never done business with people that are actually mentioned the word war very often. We're in the middle of the Middle East, right? Or with women that you can't shake their hands and all that you see are their eyes. So it was a very humbling experience for me. This is a little bit of a trust in Dubai. It was great. We had a lot of fun. And like I said, we had an amazing, amazing time. And Middle East loves trust. Middle East is crazy for trust right now. They're strict in their policies too. When it comes to ingredients, so you guys, if you guys are into that, there's certain ingredients that since I tried it, um, sell something from a private label company, Wawa, mm -hmm. and there's like little milk and all that. I don't know, but they like a lot stricter than they do um, in the UK. Um, I I don't know. I feel I feel that Europe is so tough, so much tougher than the US, for example, when it comes to product regulation and product. Ingredients. Every country that we've been de uh, doing business with in the Middle East so far, and and getting uh, the the registration process for it, it has been very smooth and and, and, and very easy. Uh, there is a very natural acceptance in the Middle East when it comes to Brazilian products. You say the name Brazilian, people uh, they go crazy. So we were very very fortunate there. Um, this is trust in the world. Um, like I said, when, when I started with Trust, I was supposed to sell only within the United States. And without Minuela's permission and without her knowledge, I started selling in Mexico. And then I started selling in El Salvador. And then I started selling in many other countries. And today we are in 22 countries. And, and this has actually happened in the last two years. And it's been an amazing, amazing experience. We've been, uh, you know, and it, it's always a, a big surprise because some countries that, you know, you think, oh, maybe that's such a small country, they're not, you know, going to do so well, they, they explode, they do amazing. And, and as you see, we have, you know, a little bit of a representation everywhere. There's a lot more to go, and we're really excited for this. Some international launches, we're doing Ecuador, we're doing El Salvador, uh, this in the next month. Portugal, Ukraine, I won't be with you guys at Orlando premiere because we're launching Ukraine, uh, so I'll be there. 
which you see uh, behind the chair. Behind the chair, we're very, very close friends with them. And uh, last year, we actually had our first chance to step on the behind the chair stage, main stage, which was great. And for us, uh, it was amazing to hear from people from the audience that we were the only brand that was not focused in giving them a hair show. We were focused in educating them on stage. That was something amazing. A little bit more of BTC. And then, uh, I don't have the audio here. This is something that we are very, very excited to share with you. We have a Victoria's Secret Angel as the International Ambassador for Trust. Uh, Isabelle, she actually comes from the same generation as Giselle Bündchen, you guys know Giselle, Mary with Tom Brady, right? From Naomi Kim, from all those super uh, models. She's one of the best uh, well-paid models uh, in the world, and she's an international ambassador for drugs. She's actually coming here to the U.S. We, we are planning on bringing her for the BTC show, so we plan on doing something uh, amazing. But why am I talking about this? Because in Brazil, one of the reasons why we partner with, uh, uh, one of the reasons why we're so big in Brazil is because we partner with all the celebrities. In Brazil, we sponsor fashion weeks, events, we sponsor all kinds of awards, and we're going towards the same direction here in the U.S. We want to sponsor the Oscars, we want to sponsor the, the, the Emmys, the, the Grammys, so, and we're going there. 